You freeze. Every instinct screams at you to run, but you can't because you're staring into the eyes of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It hasn't seen you yet. The ground trembles with its every step. Each footfall is a drumbeat, counting down your final seconds. Its massive head, the size of a small car, swings back and forth, sniffing the air. A deep, guttural rumble vibrates through your chest. You're hidden behind a giant fern, your heart hammering against your ribs. You remember the old advice. Don't move. Its vision is based on movement, but that's a myth, a deadly one. Recent studies of the T-Rex's skull reveal it had some of the best vision in the animal kingdom. Its forward-facing eyes gave it incredible binocular vision, meaning it had excellent depth perception. It could see you, still as a stone, from miles away. The real reason you might survive is its sense of smell. While powerful, it might be overwhelmed by the dense, humid smells of the Cretaceous, jungle tha, rotting leaves, the damp earth, the pungent flowers. This is your only chance. A moment of sensory confusion for the predator. You have maybe five seconds, the Tyrex turns its head, its enormous nostril flaring just meters away. It knows something is here. You can't outrun it. It can hit speeds of over 20 miles per hour. You can't fight it. Its bite force could crush a car. So you do the one thing it won't expect. You don't run away from it. You run towards it, scrambling under its massive belly. It roars in confusion, a sound that splits the air. It's too big to turn quickly. Its huge body, a clumsy prison. You keep running, not daring to look back, disappearing into the thick undergrowth. You escaped, but as you catch your breath, you hear a new sound, a high-pitched clicking from the trees all around you. You realize the T-Rex wasn't the only hunter in this forest. And these smaller predators, they've been watching you the whole time.